Hello and welcome to the channel. We are back doing an update here on our battle cruiser prototype for Space Engineers. Uh, of course, ignore the gyros and the out of place seat, which actually we end up taking off shortly. We've started to work on the uh, command room here. And we've done a few updates to it. Uh, basically, sort of merged the two ideas we were working with previously. Uh, to be quick, idea of the firepower that you have here. We still have the uh, forward mounted large cannons inside the nose, and we've added on a few more additional auto cannons for it. So, your full force of fire for the auto cannons is going to look something like this. We have adjusted the turrets. So, you still have your Gatling turrets for your small craft coverage. Your uh, Minotaur turret here for your uh, small craft coverage as well, basically. And you have three of the large battleship cannons. One with dual action, and the other two are just the standard single barrels. As you can see, the auto cannons that we expanded, we actually ended up putting uh, three sets of six on either side. So it's got a very consistent rate of fire there. And uh, what we've got here is going with the uh, midship hangar that actually connects to a rear ship hangar. So you will be able to uh, bring your small craft in to land here. Which, of course, we've still got some of the floor opened up as we're still working on the lower and upper levels. Alright, and then you'll have this is pretty much where your maintenance bay is going to be. And then, of course, back here you'll also have an additional hangar. Uh, ideally, this is where your uh, transports and your maybe heavy bombers would actually be stored. And, of course, your lighter craft would be stored forward. Some of them will, of course, be stored on the actual landing deck here. And some will be stored in the maintenance bay. Now, the maintenance bays, they expand into our internalized thrusters. We moved our side thrusters inside using the uh, Darvian pattern concept that we have shown in our testing previous videos. Uh, basically, this gives us extra protection in regards to the sides of the ship, because now, instead of having exposed thrusters, we have multiple layers of armor out there, and these thrusters will be completely sheltered, basically. We've actually got three locations on either end of the ship where these thruster banks are set up. Uh, we have done some testing, and the uh, spacing is just right on it, of course so that it doesn't damage anything during flight, turns, rolls. And of course you come in here, and on either side you'll have the same room. Uh, they are connected with an air vent, so each room is individually pressurized and sealable by the doors. Uh, this will pretty much be your uh, rear hangar command room for well, managing the twos and fro's of transportation. And as you can see, we've also got a uh, vent in our airlock system here to uh, protect the crew. So basically, you'll expect this to be mostly depressurized here. And this, I'm um, probably not going to put any ventilation into this room. We'll have to feed it through with the open door right there. Because this is going to be open quite often for uh, transport. This room, we will be setting up ventilation in. Hanger, the repair hangar here. And of course, the uh, main hangar deck, we will have ventilation as well. Even though, like the rear hangar, it will be open most of the time. It's just such a large room that it's going to need that ventilation for coverage. Now, upstairs, we have this uh, overwatch for the hangar here. Basically, a command room up here. For your uh, deck officers to manage the actual flight deck. And we don't actually have this going anywhere just yet. We just cut into here. Uh, this large chamber is not really purposed just as yet. We put a few of the large reactors and large cargo containers in up above in the uh, this armored neck right here. We'll put some more on the lower level as well. We'll actually go to the front of the ship for this next part. Now what we have... Uh, to open the doors. Okay. There we are. Alright, 
while we're setting this up here. Uh, what we have basically is when we went and we were working on the interior design, uh, didn't quite like the way it started to go, so we uh, hollowed the ship back out and picked up square one working with the hole. So of course we have the main cannons here, and then after that it divides into two different paths. This path here on the right hand side, we're sticking with this concept of right hand side being the dominant side when navigating through the ship. So uh, this one here will actually take you back into the main parts of the ship. It's where you're going to access your hangar, and it's where you're going to go upstairs and access your... Uh, uh, basically, you're going to access med bays, you're going to access the uh, bridge and everything eventually through this path in off of the right side. Of course, I should have probably installed gravity to make it easier to get around to show you guys all this. But going back, show you the left side. The left side here is actually going to go down. And this is going to be fleshed out into a crew quarter. And of course, I'm um, going to do some uh, lounge areas as well. And there is going to be a lower observation deck. I don't think I've cut in through here just yet. The lower level is probably going to be the last area we actually start to work on. But there's going to be this lower observation deck just mirroring the uh, command deck up above, of course. That you'll use this as kind of a lounge area. And this is where you'll see another set of those internal thrusters. Now we've gone with a uh, large open space, mostly because you need the actual space for the thruster to contain five spaces of clearance, which of course leaves us hardly enough to work with here, but it also allows us a uh, jetpack movement here to repair any damaged thrusters or particularly the main thrusters. All of our main thrusters are set up in such a way that you can access them to repair from the inside. Now, these lower engine compartments we have not modified yet. The upper ones were actually improved upon. So let's go ahead and uh, head up there. Cut us a shortcut. Because the mirroring tool doesn't quite work out the way we want it based on this, we've had to manually modify each one separately. So this also has a set of internal thrusters. So you will still have forward propulsion, even if you lose all of your main thrusters. They'll be recessed in as they are here, of course. And that just gives you extra forward propulsion. Uh, we've uh, modified the venting process in here, made this hallway a little bit uh, wider, of course, or longer, rather. And that pretty much covers the uh, updates we've done so far on the ship. Uh, we're still going to work on it. Uh, we did take a bit of time away from the game, trying not to get too burnt out on doing the same thing constantly. And, of course, that's where we came up with the idea of merging the two general concepts into what should be a more efficient vessel, having both the dual hangar capacity and the heavy armament that the namesake actually implies. And with testing we have done with the main cannons, uh, they can fire fully continuously while in maneuvering, uh, or, sorry, while in a maneuvering stance. So basically you can roll, you can pitch, yaw, uh, anything you need to do, and you don't have to worry about chewing into your own armor. Now the ship itself, obviously not going to be overly nimble because it is a very large battle cruiser and it is meant for engaging large structures, large ships. Uh, carriers ideally, of course, other battle cruisers, battleships, and your cruisers, and that'll pretty much cover what it can really handle. Anything smaller is going to have a better time against it, of course, but the turrets will really start to make up for that. Of course, the smaller ships are not going to have the armor they need to survive the multiple Gatling guns, the uh, turrets, the Minotaur cannon, and we might end up putting some more armament up where our gyros are temporarily placed for testing, since this is a large area here, and one of the things we were looking at of course was a large cannon. Alright, 
that pretty much covers our update on where we are with this right now, guys. I'm hoping you like the way it's shaping up. Of course, uh, let us know what you think about it in the comments. And if you haven't already subscribed, now is definitely a good time. We might be looking at doing a uh, giveaway once we reach 100 subscribers. And we're fairly close to that now. So, uh, go ahead and uh, let us know what you think, as I said. And I hope it was inspirational or informative in some way for you. And of course, as always, have a good day.